So this course is not a very advanced course, uh, uh, but we need to talk something about uh, fouling and cleaning. And the thing is that when you use uh, a membrane, the flux will decrease over time. And th this decrease over time happens due to concentration polarization, which is inevitable, right? Uh, it happens because of reversible fouling. And with that, we mean fouling that washing can remove. So, for example, it might uh, be a cake that builds up after a while. And it also happens through irre irreversible fouling. So fouling that we can't remove with any kind of cleaning. So if we think of uh, one situation here, where we only have reversible fouling, we start the process and we use our membrane filter and the flux decreases and decreases and decreases. And then we stop and we clean it and then we get the higher flux again. And then it decreases and then we stop and we clean it. And you see after cleaning, we come up to the same uh, flux, same permeate flux as we had uh, before. If we have reversible, irreversible fouling, when uh, we stop and clean, we never get up to the initial uh, flux. We get the lower value. And this is a problem. Uh, and choosing uh, membranes uh, and operating conditions that reduce fouling is uh, it's a whole science of its own. And uh, cleaning methods as well, because you, you want something that takes away all the fouling but keeps the membrane intact. And in, in fact, uh, sometimes you can see that you, you use your filter and you clean and then suddenly you get a higher flux than you had initially. That's not a good sign. Uh, what probably happened then is that you destroyed the membrane. So something is leaking out. Uh, there could be a crack or something else. Uh, so that's not good. So this fouling can take place on the membrane surface. Uh, so a filter cake that builds up. It can happen inside the pore, totally blocking the pore, the pore blocking. And it can happen inside the membrane through adsorption. So a small molecule stick to the surface and thus making this passage smaller. And to clean, we can use mechanical uh, methods, but we can also use chemical methods like uh, acids, bases, and so on, or solvents. Uh, and we can use a combination of the two. A problem is, of course, that the membranes are awful, often uh, delicate uh, and can be destroyed by the cleaning.